Hey guys, it's Lego Squiddy137 here, and this would is going to be um, a Lego review, which is going to be my first review on my channel, my YouTube channel. And as you can tell, I have a Lego Chima set. Um, this is number seven zero 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 zero. There are four zeros on that. That's quite an odd number, but. These are just the instruction manuals. I do not have the um, box left, so I just put the instruction manuals, which you get two of. And this is a pretty small set, so that's weird. But I'm doing a like, review for my first video. Well, not my first video, but my third video, really. If you want to be technical. But let's get started with the review. We don't want it to take too long. So, in this, you do get one minifigure, which he's really cool. So, let me just show you him. Very cool. So, yeah, I decided to kick uh, um, off my channel with the Lego Chima um, review, because I do like Lego Chima. And Lego Ninjago are probably my two favorite Lego themes. So, of course, this is a raven named Razcall. That name is hard to say for me. And he comes with this headpiece with a gold beak. And there's his face printing that is underneath of his little helmet thing. Can't see the back of it because his wings are in the way. There's the back of it. And he does come with these wings that are attached on the back. Like these little raven wings that are attached on the back of the um, Chima harness. He gets a silver harness with blue Chi. I think you should have had red Chi since he's bad, but... They didn't decide to give him red chi. I guess because they have fire chi now. So, that might get mixed up. Here is his torso and um, leg printing and detailing. And uh, there's back. It's kind of hard to tell because there's a lot of purple in it. And the purple blends in with the back black. Because um, this camera doesn't have high quality. So, that is our only minifigure of the set. But you do get this little... Um, the set is named Rascal's Glider, and this is his little glider that it comes with. It's, it's very cool. It's a very cool glider. And it has four of these wings that can be moved, like on um, this. Move, they can move, articulate. You can make them go whichever way you want them to go. Like, if you want it to be like that, like he's going really fast then yeah, you can do that. Or you can have them wide out, like I like to put them um, wide out, just because. And all of them are on a little joint that they can't go up and down, only side to side. And you get four of these little, well actually five, because one of them's on the tail, but four of these for the wings. Just l these little flag feather pieces for the wings. So those are cool. Um, the front of it has You'll notice uh, it has this little Technic piece. Um, we'll get to that um, a bit later because that is one of the main functions. Well, basically the main function of the set, except for that, you know, it glides. It doesn't actually glide. Like, if you throw it, it's not going to, like, glide. But He has a little um, gray beak. It's kind of rubbery, kind of rip, like a soft plastic. And he had... Uh, move his wing out of the way. There's his little head which is really cool. He has a red eye. And on this, and on this side, he also has a, same, a red eye, so it's, you know, it is um, symmetrical all the way around. And you get this little bone. So if you wanted to, you could put the unfinished, I did not put him back together, but you could put Rascal in there, and he could glide the plane with that little bone. That's kind of the controller of the whole thing. Which I think is really cool. Let me just adjust my camera angle there. Okay, so he comes with these two, um, these actually aren't stickers, but they're the logo for the bad guys in the first season. And they're actually printed on the brick, which is very nice. So we get printed pieces and not stickers, because I hate stickers. I'm sure a lot of you hate stickers, so that's good. And the main color scheme of this is basically black and purple, which is the main color scheme of the Ravens, too. I think that's cool, because... The team Ravens, like, the, is it basketball or football? I don't know. But the team, um, is purple and, um, black too, so that's pretty cool. 
And on the back he has a, a purple version of that flag piece that you get. Purple version. I'm not going to take it out. And you do get these little purple spikes. If you can see, even see them on the camera. Um, I don't have the best camera work yet. Because my camera is not that good. But these little purple pieces which you can detach. You're, you may be wondering, why would you detach them? Well, you'll see in a second. There is a function with that as well. I guess it's just a little extra added fun to it. And you do get one single blue cheek. So I'm saying blue because you do, can get gold cheek. And fire cheek, but that's not the third season. So you do get one cheek to fight over. Well, you can't really fight because you don't have any good guys in the set. Which I wish they would have done, but... If we take off this piece, you see this piece right there, that can detach as well. So, there are some things that can detach on this. So, you take this piece and these two pieces, and you can create a weapon. So, you just have to slot them in like that. Slot this one in. Like that. And you create a little weapon very cool little um, purple weapon that Ravel can hold wherever you want. Oh, he's still on the glider. Headless on the glider. So he can just... Sorry. He can hold it. If... If... Uh, I can't make him hold it. He, d he refuses to. <laughs> but he can hold it if he wants to. And if you want him to hold it, then you can. Something I have changed about my backdrop is that I'm going to write here, like, what the subject of the day is going to be, so today's Lego, so. Yeah, that's a little change. Back to the review. I want to get this done. And I'm pretty sure you don't want to watch a 20 minute video. So, what I forgot to touch up was on the back, there is this little, um, chain on here, which will serve as part of the function on the Technic piece. And... It comes with these little, um, Technic pieces here, that, and on those are the little feet, little claws, that can, um, close in on a minifigure if you wanted it to, to hold a minifig, a minifig if they don't drop out. I'm sorry. Um, like that. So if you're coming by, you could, like, take a minifigure and take them hostage, so... If I actually had a good minifigure, that would be nice. I mean, I do, but it doesn't come in this set, so I can't show you it. Otherwise, you'd get the wrong idea about it. And it does come with these little red pieces over here as well, on, on the other side, because it did say it was magical. So that kind of acts as just, like, the little, um, feet on it. Claws. Very cool. Very cool little claws. What I wish they would have done is, um, not making these blue because that makes it kind of stand out and not really go well with the other things. But now what you can do is set up a headless minifigure <laughs> if you want to and you just press in on this Technic piece right here, this little red Technic piece and don't fire. A uh, flick missile. Of course it's a flick missile. When would there be a flick missile in the like I said? And it, the flick missile comes out on the chain. And it's on the chain, um, because if it wasn't on the chain, um, it, the flick missile would just go, come out of the little socket, and go who knows where. So, the chain just keeps it all together. Now, let's see if I can hit him. Ah, well, I'm not good at aiming flick missiles, as you may tell. So, that is a very good set. There are his remains. <laughs> It is an awesome set. Um, I really like it. It's good for my first Chima set. Yes, this is my first Chima set. So it's um, um, a good set to get first, except for if you do have good minifigures, it's better then, but I don't. So it's not that good. But overall, I'd give this set. So I'd give this set probably a 9. Um, again, I wish they would have camouflaged that a little better. And, um, there's not a lot to do with it since you, there's only, like, a bad guy. 
in the set. I wish it would have come with like a good guy as well. That way, you know, you could actually fight for the chi that comes in the set. That would have been really nice. Um, I would have liked to see that done. Um, I would have not liked to see two instruction booklets. That's just kind of a waste of paper since, you know, um, it's such a small set. I don't think you need two in it. But overall, it is a really good set. Not my favorite, only because of the things that I pointed out. But it's a nine. Nine means good, 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 good. That's a thumbs up. Now some sideways. I can't really do that. Because there's something in the way. But thumbs up for this set. Because this is a really good set. And I hope you enjoyed this review of Rascal's Glider set. Seven zero 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 zero, and I will see you guys next time. And next review will probably be a Lego review. So yeah, I hope you liked this review and it wasn't too boring for you. Like I said, like I ramble on. Okay, I ramble a lot. So yeah. Um, I hope to see you guys on my next review, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.